So, would you have defined a quite generic interface for a median operator? Okay, we have here code t hat n that returns a hat a code t, code t being numeric. Okay. Will we be able to also provide a generic implementation for it? So the first thing we need is to find a good algorithm. And the properties to look for when we implement a safety critical algorithm usually are the following. First, you want to have something that is low complexity because you have to think that these designs will be reviewed and tested. So less cases you have to test the, and review, the less the burden will be on the other teams. The other thing is usually programmers consider the mean case of execution time in terms of performances. For safety critical design, this has very little importance because you need to book the time for the worst case. Okay, you need to book enough execution time in case you're in the worst case. So the only thing that is meaningful is the worst case execution time and you can forget anything you know, everything you know about the mean case. Okay. Additionally, for scale designs, we try to reduce or to avoid the modification of large structures as this might trigger copies in the generated code. And this, of course, has some impact on the performances. So after some digging on the internet, I found um, an algorithm um, that has all these properties. So it's the Torben algorithm, the Torben's method that is described here. And there's actually an existing C implementation. And we can have a look at it. Uh, here it is. Okay. Um, the interesting thing about this algorithm is that uh, uh, first it's quite simple. And the second thing is that um, uh, it doesn't require any copy of any sort of the input vector. So how does it work? Basically, it's going to first look for the min and max values in my input array. So in that code, it's m. Okay, so it's going to iterate over all the elements in my array and get the minimum and the maximum. Then it's going to make a guess and say, hey, let's assume that the median is equal to the mean. Will this work? Here, I'm computing the mean, and I'm again going to iterate over my array. And I'm going to count the number of values that are below the guess, that are less than the guess, so that's this less value here, and the number of values that are above the guess, which is greater. Okay. It will also find the two values that are framing the guess, one above and one below. So you have max lesser than guess, so that's the value below, and min greater than guess, that's the value above below. So if you have strictly more values smaller than the guess, than values bigger than the guess, then you're going to restart your loop, restart your algorithm with a new maximum, which is the value just below the guess. If we have more bigger ones than smaller ones, we're going to restart the algorithm with a new minimum, that is the value immediately above our guess. Okay. And if we have as many as those, okay, we can basically say that uh, we know that our guess is the method. Actually, we see that either the guess is the median, either it's the value immediately uh, below or the value immediately above. So, the question that remains is, can we actually implement this efficiently in SCADE? And I bet we can. So let's start by finding the minimal value of our array. So and here, I have this array V, I want to find the minimal value of V. Okay, so for this, I'm going to use a fold iterator over my input array and to carry in the accumulator the smallest values in so far. So the value of the last accumulator, that is the output of the iterator, will contain the minimum. 
So I will create a min operator. It will have an accumulator in that has that the, that is the currently seen minimum. Okay, and an output accumulator out. Okay, and there's another input which is the current value. Okay. So the type for this, well, they are all code T's and these code T's are necessarily numeric. Okay. So I can put that here and apply high order a fault. And I want to apply that on all the elements on the array. So I need to give the size here of my iterator, which is n. Okay, I'm going to apply that on all the elements of my array. And so I can remove this dummy implementation. It will remain dummy, but a little bit more interesting. It's going to be the minimum for the moment. Okay, so. We have said here, so I'm entering this min operator, I do have this interface, that the currently, that, that the minimal value of the values I've currently seen, and that's the current value, and that needs to be the new minimum. So that's pretty simple. I just need to check and to propagate the smallest of these two values. So I'm just going to compare and to say that If in is smaller, then I'm taking in, else I'm taking V. Okay. To check this, okay, it has no memory. We've seen that already, so it's a function. And the type here is code T, so I cannot do the complete check. So in my median here, the only thing that I need to enter is the initial value for the accumulator. I just need to take one value in my array. So let's say V at index zero. Okay. So now I can check my test here and that's working. The check is here. Okay, so let's do a quick simulation to verify that it works correctly. Okay, I'm going to put several values here. 1 1.3, 4.6, 78.9, 1.2, 0.2, minus 25.8, 0, 16.3, and let the others be 0, this one is going to be 1, 8, 2, 3, 21, 11, 45, 69, 99, 101, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 1, 1. Okay, and this one is going to be, uh, I don't know, uh, 1.2. And uh, uh, minus 2.6. And if I do one step, I do see that every time I do have the minimum value here. So at just the beginning, it's a very small part of the implementation, but I have implemented a generic minimum. 